I was wondering how much the story leads the science that you tell or how much you decide on the science that you're going to communicate and build a story to fit it in. Darwin's Watch. I love doing that one. Mm. Uh, you know, I thought I knew quite a lot about Darwin because I remember reading uh, Origin of Species. Um, a master at my school gave me to uh, a treasured copy of Origin of Species just before I went down with measles and uh, um, got other things so that I was hallucinating. And I, I remember reading it in, in, a, in a state of hallucination, which was That's probably right. about right. Yes, it was about right. Um, it's a lovely thing. I advise all of you to read it. Um, and it there's a wonderful new version with, which is illustrated, and it's bloody brilliant. Yes, and incredibly mm -hmm. well written. Um, but as I was going through the history of Darwin himself as, as the man, you realise, and of course this is a simple, a really a simple thing, that for him to be the him that, that we know, and that big statue now in the, in the museum, yeah. an, awful, an awful lot of things that really shouldn't have probably well, happened. No. And Something of course, had to be meddling. <laughs> Yeah. And it might just as well, well have been the wizards. Well, it wasn't. Well, it, yeah, it had to. But the point is, in real life, we know these things happen. Yes. And of yes. course, it's silly to to say this is true because it stands to reason. But so so much of what stands to reason doesn't stand to reason. No, that's, that's exactly right. right. No, I yeah. mean, if you read a biography of Darwin, and at the back of your mind is, when did the wizards interfere? <laughs> you can spot. <laughs> Arthur C. Clarke wrote a book called Profiles of the Future in which yes. he predicted read, yeah. a whole pile of interesting things, some of which have happened, some of which have not. Um, but the one that was really quite interesting was the giant computer that has all of the world's library and other information in it, which we all access. And until a few years ago, that looked like a really, really stupid prediction because we've all got our own computer. But now they're all talking about the cloud. Yes. And we're rapidly, we're, basically we all have little bits of a giant computer. And it, 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 Arthur, Arthur Clarke may have been closer to the truth than he thought. Well, very often you have to reword the prophecy mm. and it turns out all right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. We know about... We know about prophets, us Jews, we know about prophets. I'll, I'll find it very sad if you can't actually type on your computer. <laughs> no. But I talk to my computer. Yes. The trouble is, I'm suffering, was it, was it, um, was that future shock? Yeah. But it's not good enough. <laughs> I want a bigger shock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mine has been really put together to, and I, I can actually dictate to it. Um, and it knows my voice. But I want to come into my office one morning and say, good morning, computer. Get me the work in progress. And I want to uh, send a phone call to Dave. Uh, and I want the computer to say, no, right, nice female voice. <laughs> um, I believe that should be Dave Busby, Terry, um, since you um, have phoned him three times in the last week. In which case, um, if not, here is a list of Daves. <laughs> and that would have to be a damn long list. <laughs> um, and it hasn't damn well happened yet. No, uh, well, yes, you, you read too many science fiction stories, you see, Terry. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works, isn't it? <laughs> but, I think there are two but possibilities. It's so yeah. easy to do. There's, there's two possibilities here. I mean, I am struck by how we have all of this amazing technology which never quite does things the way you want, <laughs> and all of which is slightly flawed. And it, it sort of works, but it doesn't really work. 
And now there, there is the point of view that says, ah, yes, but come the singularity. Yeah, so then everything, everything will work out right. Everything will work fine because the machines will take over and will develop the whole thing. Yeah. And I'm wondering whether we're going to have the, the other possibility, which is we keep getting the new technology, and whenever they get the old technology working perfectly, it becomes, it becomes obsolete. obsolete. Yes. <laughs> yes, and absolutely. you're back with something that doesn't quite work again. Yes, I think, and I I, think I, the I, whole I, business of advancement is that each time you increment, the next bit doesn't quite work properly. I, I fear that that's where we are. Um, I told you that uh, I used a talking point. One of the things I'm arguing with the guys there, this is a good way around Dragon Dictate. Um, I'm finding that although that it's actually learning how I speak, it's not pr programmed to do this. So it's, it's now coming up with predictive tests, and they, <laughs> swear, and they swear that it's, it's not doing it. And a little while ago, I, I had to turn around and leave a, a, a couple of sentences, and the next sentence was finished for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, it, and it, it genuinely happened. And they're saying, it can't possibly happen. Oh, God. And I said, well, it's, it's quite a big machine. You never know what's going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> Something that worries me these days is that we think it's all about us. We think it's all about the humans. And it's not all about the humans. No. It's about the planet. It's about the planet and just about everything else. But it's not all about just about the humans. But we don't think like that. You know, I went back uh, to Kalimantan recently. You may have seen me on the telly. Um, and you see the trees coming down and the devastation. And it's OK, because we're just taking it away from the orangutans, and there might be some more orangutans later. And the thing that worries me, as homo sapiens, we don't engage. There is no... You remember, in the early days, there was going to be a world... Um, what, what, what they used to call it in those days? The whole world run is one thing. Oh, yeah, uh, La Larry Niven world had had it. Yeah, sort of global, yeah. yeah. And he thought the it would world work. Government. Yeah, yes. the United Nations and, and will run everything. And, one, yeah. and it looked good. Yes, it did. Uh, um, everyone had a birth, birthright. Remember? Mm -hmm. They had their own... Yes, yes. So they could have um, their own life, as it were, and then a child. And so yes. a couple together, um, if they have two kids would act with then, as it were, become granny and granddad later on and die, yeah. and there's the kids ready to pre open. And of course, there was nothing in there to say what happens if someone's all says, said, sorry, actually, so I have got a third children. one. Yes. Um, is that all right? Yes. <laughs> and then and you're the going to have to start no. chopping heads off, <laughs> yes. and then you're going to have a war. And I'm sorry, because Larry Niven is one of the best SF writers there's ever been, I think. Yeah. But He uh, got it wrong. He got it wrong because he was an idealist writing. Mm. And the world isn't like that, I'm afraid. And we know and that the, the race is looking at death, I suspect. No. Uh, going back, uh, certainly being thrown back, at least, if we actually have a lot of wars because of resources in which in, uh, where we'll use up those resources in fighting each other for the resources themselves. We know so. this can happen. We know there's more and more people being... I don't say kill people. We just... We, it would be so easy just not to have children. Yes. Right. Do you have a, a favourite character? from all of the books that you've written? Well, there's two, really. For the adults, Commander Vimes. For the children's books, which I also write, uh, Tiffany Aching. Because those two, quite... I can get inside 
most of my characters, but Tiffany Aching and Commander Vimes have been with me for so long now that they've kind of been laminated in, into my into me myself sometimes. <laughs> sure. I, mean, I know how, what, how they speak. I know, I know what they think about in the next thing. You could give me a plot with them in it, and I know exactly how, how they would do it. Work, yes. 